Welcome back, Jebel Ali. In the last tutorial, we created a race track for our race game. And in today's tutorial, we are going to create or add the character that we will navigate around our race track. It could be anything you want. You could use the cat or you could delete the cat if you want like that. And then click on the choose sprite and just move up here where it says choose a sprite. And on here, you've got lots and lots of different characters that you can use try and keep a character that is facing to the right so that way so if you scroll down you've got the cat like i had before here now i'm going to go for i'm not sure let's go for i'll go for gobo so there's gobo so if i click on gobo and there's gobo he's quite big and i'm going to put him in the middle as you can see you can move him around you can drag and put him where you want now what we want to happen is our character to start on the track and to be really small so it looks like it can fit in here so okay so what i'm going to do first is change the size now at the moment the size is just here can you see that it's at the moment set to 100. okay now i'm going to change that number by clicking and deleting and i'm going to choose a quarter of the size which is 25. you think 425 to 100 and that is one quarter and you can see Gobo has shrank right down, which is perfect. And now I can move him here and he fits nicely in my track. So he's going to go around like that. OK, so I want him to start just at this point here. So I want him to, when I start the game, go automatic to that position. And the way you do that is you will need the green flag block. Now, the blocks, if you remember, are here and we need to make sure we are in the correct area. So I want to go to events. Now event block are just here. That's the event block. And basically use event block to start your code box from working. Okay, so click on events. And we want this one here, which is the when green flag is clicked. And what this block does is basically when you drag it onto your block area here, and you click on the green flag here, whatever blocks are connected to your green flag block will happen, okay? So that is an event block. So we want our character to go to this area here when we click on the green flag. So we need a motion block. And so in the palette, block palette area here under the blue motion blocks, and I'll just zoom in on that one for you here, and that's just here, the motion block. I'll click on that. Now we want to go to X and Y. Can you see this block here? And what we've got here is coordinates. So X0 and X, Y is basically in the middle here. OK, so we want our character to go just here. Now, you'll see when I drop my character down here, these numbers change. So if I put him over here, these numbers change. See, this is the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. If I try and put it into the middle, I should nearly get zero and zero, yeah, nearly. So what I want is it to be just in the middle up here. So I click and let go, and there are my coordinates for that location. Okay, so when I drag the go to X and Y and connect it to my when, what, when green flag is clicked, just there, wherever I put my character, when I click on the green flag, he or it or she will go back to this location. Now, in the next tutorial, we will get our character racing around the track so we can control it. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.